Hello everyone. Welcome to this presentation. Today I will present my work on functional level abstraction and simulation of very low AMS piecewise linear models. My name is Sadia Azam and I am currently a PhD student at University of Verona, Italy since October 2019. My main research interests are design of abstraction methodologies for piecewise linear and non-linear analog circuits. Moreover, I am working on transistor level fault injection to improve the functional safety techniques for analog circuits. Here is the outline of uh, the presentation. First, I will uh, discuss about the motivation behind this work and uh, the next with our flow of our methodology, background and some details about the abstraction methodology and how we validated our methodology and in the end we conclude our work by representing some conclusions and proposing some future work. So let's start with the motivation behind this work. Cyber physical systems combine digital computation with analog sensing and actuation. Integrated analog components in virtual platforms require modeling with the high level description languages. Uh, these high level description languages are System C RTL, TLM, System C AMS, C and C. Unfortunately, finding these high level descriptions for piecewise linear models are hard. Uh, so we need a methodology for building and simulating virtual platforms containing piecewise linear model. Analog circuits can be simulated at different abstraction levels. For transistor level simulations, there are some tools available. These tools are SPICE, SPECTRA, ALDO. SPICE has been a widely used simulator in the past for detailed transistor level simulation. However, it is efficient only for designs with few transistors. The modern circuits are complex and contain many million transistors. Therefore, new methodologies are required to speed up and robust the simulations. Analog circuits can be simulated at behavior level to speed up the simulation. Behavior models can be a set of equations that describe the behavior of a circuit. The most common used behavior modeling languages are Verilog A, Verilog AMS, VHDL AMS. AMS is basically a syncrum that stands for analog mixed signal descriptions that combine digital and analog components. Functional level simulations can be performed using C++ and system C AMS TLM languages. Functional level simulations are closer to the actual hardware as compared to behavioral modeling. In our work, we are abstracting piecewise linear Verilog AMS models. Why we choose the Verilog AMS? Uh, uh, Verilog AMS is a hardware description language. It combines both Verilog A and Verilog AHDL and adds additional mixed signal construct, provides a hardware description language that's suitable for analog, digital, and mixed signal circuits. Uh, Verilog AMS allows design to be described at the same level as the SPICE. It also supports descriptions belongs to different physical domains including electrical, mechanical, and thermodynamics. So here is the overview of entire proposed methodology. In our work, we have proposed an automatic abstraction methodology to abstract piecewise linear model written in Verilog AMS to C++. Why we choose C++? C++ is easily to integrate in, in other modeling languages and to simplify the integration into the virtual platforms for efficient simulations. And how we did this, we have extensively extended our previous abstraction methodology for piecewise linear models. Before moving into the depth of abstraction methodology, first of all, we need to have a clear idea about the piecewise linearization. Piecewise approximation is a method in which a function g of x is constructed to fit an objective function f of x that is non-linear. Non-linear models can be linearized at different operating points and in, in piecewise linearization we have we can have multiple LTI systems linear time invariant systems and these LTI systems we can switch between these LTI systems depending on the operating condition for example diode 
uh, is a non-linear device its p shows the exponential behavior but we can approximate the diode characteristic curve as a series of the linear segments the software infrastructure required to abstract very low gmspf model is PWL model is described in this figure. The library that implement uh, that the methodology is built with C++ language. Initially, a piecewise linear model written in Verilog GMS is parsed and transformed into the intermediate representation. This intermediate description is basically an abstract syntax tree written in axiomal that stores all the piece of information of the original model by structuring them in a tree then we call the library here we gather all the model equations parameters nodes then after the gathering these things we um, from the tree we construct different system of equation based on the conditional branches uh, why we construct different system equations? Because when we have piecewise linear model, we can have multiple if else statements, we can have multiple switch statements. So here we generate multiple set of equations. Then we generate the grid of equations for nodes and loops to generate the branch current and branch voltages. And then we solve this equation. But before solving these, we sol symbolically solve the system of equations. But before solving these equations, we simplified the set of equations only linearly independent equations and their unknown can be passed to the solver. Then we solve these set of equations using the GNEC C++ library. Uh, we can solve uh, this system of equations symbolically by using the uh, MATLAB, SimPile library written in Python, but here we use the GNEC C++. This solve set of equation is rewritten inside the intermediate representation that is the xml file then by using the backend it is possible to generate the final abstracted c++ code moreover this generated c++ code easily integrate into the uh, virtual plat an analog circuit can be seen as an electric network composed of nodes branches and equations this figure shows the process flow used to abstract the model equation from very log ems to c plus plus this is a most important step of our methodology for each if and else statement library identify a different electric network and those equations that are outside of the if and L statements um, are duplicated inside each different electric network. For example, here we have if and else. Um, here we have like four statements: um, one for if, one for else, and two are outside of the if and else. So we constructed um, uh, two set of equations based on conditional branches and these two equations are outside of the if else if and else so these are duplicated inside each network so then solver solve separately solve these electric two networks and then we abstracted equations of each electric network here is an other factorial view of the proposed methodology and this one shows the non-linear uh, Verilog EMS model of a circuit. And this one is the piecewise linear um, model of uh, this circuit. This is the equivalent description of a non-linear uh, circuit. And this one shows the C, uh, abstracted PWL model. Um, this one is the equivalent PWL model in C++. And uh, I will explain uh, Verilog EMS and C++ generated code in the next slides. Now I will explain all the methodology by using an example. Here we're explaining this example uh, using the diode model because in electric circuits diode behaves as non-linear and this is the very low GMS description of the non-linear diode 
Here we have the name of the module, uh, parameters, um, nodes, and the disciplines. Biolog BMS supports multiple disciplines. Um, here it could be electrical, mechanical, and um, here we are using electrical discipline and the branches and these are the contribution statements of the model by understanding the characteristics of the nonlinear model um, how um, diode work we can generate a piecewise linear description of the diode model as we know diode work um, in two regions forward bias and reverse bias so we can return equivalent piecewise linear description of this nonlinear equations and this one is uh, if the diode voltage is greater than uh, 0.69 then uh, this one is the, the operate uh, diode operates in the forward bias and uh, in, if it's less than equal than this one diode behave as a reverse bias here is the automatic equivalent C++ equivalent abstracted code of the rectifier a rectifier circuit contains diode voltage source and the load resistance and um, this um, this load resistance is basically a linear but the diode behaves as a nonlinear um, so um, in as we discussed earlier that for the piecewise linear model we can have uh, multiple linear time invariant systems so here we have two systems and we switch between two systems on the basis of their operating condition and here the operating condition is the voltage across the diode if the voltage is greater than um, 0 0.69 and uh, then it work as a in a forward bias region other is when reverse bias region so we have here in c plus we have abstracted um, all the um, electrical equations of the different regions and these are the equations of the voltage source and this one is the potential flows of the diode this one is the potential flows of the load resistance and same goes here um, for the else part we have extracted all these equations uh, in the c++ uh, we have validated our methodology um, by um, um, on three piece by clear analog models and half wave rectifier memory cell and ID relay and uh, if we simulated first initially we have simulated very log ms code by using the um, spy space simulator and then we by using the test benches we uh, simulated the c++ abstracted code and uh, the simulation of c++ code uh, of the um, half wave rectifier shows that uh, uh, it has speed up uh, around 2.65 times for the memory store it has speed up of the 114 times and the for ID relay it's speed of the 160 times and to check the accuracy of the methodology we plot uh, in this graph we plot the traces uh, of the results um, from the very low BMS code and then the C++ code these blue lines represent uh, the input in the spice this one is the um, out, output of the spice across the um, resistor and yellow line represents the diode voltage in the spice and uh, this one shows the uh, diode voltages and the um, voltage across the diode uh, resistor in the c plus plus and uh, both the simulations are run for one millisecond with the time step set to the by one microsecond and uh, the simulation traces of two models are equivalent with an error around 0.1 and then we integrated our C++ uh, abstracted model in the virtual platform. This virtual platform is basically composed of uh, uh, MBA bus and that is advanced microcontroller bus architecture that interconnects all the components of the virtual platform internally. The components uh, connected uh, to the MBA um, bus inside the virtual platform are the um, com6502 microprocessor sram uart and radio frequency transceiver and uh, basically micro uh, electromechanical system accelerator um, that composed of the digital to analog converter and analog to digital converter and our uh, half wave rectifier 
uh, is integrated this part and this half wave rectifier we use to provide the correct dc voltage to the mains and uh, the advantage of uh, integrating several heterogeneous component uh, within the same virtual platform is that uh, um, a validation of the functionality of entire systems can be performed before taking into the production stage so we can conclude our presentation here um, in this uh, work we have proposed uh, an opt uh, automatic abstraction methodology um, for piecewise linear variable model into the uh, c++ and uh, c++ uh, models are easy to integrate and we can easily integrate these models into the virtual platforms and uh, for the future perspective uh, techniques for simulating linear circuits are stable and efficient, but there are still many research gaps for the non-linear circuits. Uh, um, we are testing uh, this methodology on the large circuits, and uh, we are also working on extending uh, the, this methodology for the abstraction of uh, non-linear very low GMS models. Thank you. Uh, here is the contact information of our research group and um, for further queries and um, uh, you can everybody uh, can contact us and uh, we will be happy to answer uh, all the queries.